Among the many challenges facing children who live with chronic illnesses, the idea of being stuck in a hospital room for weeks at a time. But we found a hospital with a therapeutic approach for these young patients. You can't confine their imaginations. I made these rings out of the 3D printer. Like a lot of kids, Dale and James likes to make things. But what she makes and where she makes them make Dalen quite the uncommon kid. Take this. So here I'm creating like a dryer. Some wooden sticks, a fan, plastic rings made with a 3D printer, and check it out, a device to help kids with cystic fibrosis dry their nebulizers. Mom, feel. Dalen does most of her inventing at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee, where she spends a lot of time. Because at the age of 14, Dale and James has CF herself, a chronic lung disease. Sometimes I'm scared to admit it, but then sometimes I'm completely open about it. Diagnosed at the age of four, she's often hospitalized in isolation for two to three weeks at a time. I would go crazy because I'm not allowed to go out of my room, so I'd just be stuck in here, nothing to do. So what can we use that for? Which is where Gokul Krishnan comes in. A volunteer at Vanderbilt Children's, his own imagination was sparked by another young patient one day. She said, hey, imagine if we had a space that would allow us to leave our bed, move around. So Krishnan came up with the mobile maker space to get kids moving more. It's a cart equipped with a camera, a touchscreen computer, circuit building kits, and the 3D printer. I invented a doorbell. Holly Dyer built this doorbell for her nurses and a pill case with an LED light so patients can find their pills at night. It rotates too. Why? No particular reason, except that Holly's eight, and that's an appealing design feature for an eight-year-old. With the mobile maker space, the kids are a lot more active. They're designing, they're making, they're collaborating. Krishnan's idea doesn't just help their minds. Dr. Rebecca Brown is Dalen's doctor. She's up and out of her bed more often, which is helping her treatments be even more effective. Dalen, who usually takes less than 300 steps a day at the hospital, takes more than 1,500 when the maker space is in a room. It's just been overall a positive experience, especially for her mental health. You can't let a little disease bring you down. No, she can't. At least not judging from this picture, she drew with help from the mobile makerspace, a pair of lungs looking like a butterfly's wings. One day, I'm hoping that our lungs will fly free.